Good morning, everyone, and please stand. Welcome to our celebration of this Mass and Memorial uh, of St. Christopher Magallanes, priest and companion martyrs. They were persecuted during the Cristeros in Mexico in 1920s. So to our brothers and sisters from Mexico, thank you for bringing the faith that these people have shown great deep, deep faith for the Lord, Christ the King, and to the Virgin of Guadalupe. Entrance. This intention, mass intention is being offered for the repose of the soul of Rogeria Gachalian and for the special intention of Erlinda Dacumos celebrating her birthday today. Entrance antiphone. Holy men shed their glorious blood for the Lord. They loved Christ in their life. They imitated him in their death and therefore were crowned in triumph. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who made the priest St. Christopher Magallanes and his companions faithful to Christ the King, even to the point of martyrdom. Grant us through their in intercession that persevering in confession of the true faith, we may always hold fast to the commandments of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. <clears throat> the next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at the loss, how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. 
And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to, send to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has, it, has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples, and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In a sense, God continues to invite us to make a commitment to him every day and every opportunity we have to say that we love him and to follow him. Many men and women, and some of them are up here in the uh, our stained glass windows, and they are models for us of the ones who committed their love for the Lord and they showed it by their actions, and some of them by words. Young or old, it doesn't matter. All of us who are baptized have been welcomed into this 
loving relationship with God as his beloved children. And as we heard yesterday, God the Father take delight in giving you and me and all of us as precious gifts, precious gifts to his son. Today, Jesus' conversation with Peter, after Peter had denied him three times, he could have reprimanded him, but he did not, but gave Peter an opportunity to reaffirm his love for him because the Lord knew that Peter loved him. As he said yes to all of these, Jesus said, follow me. And so they did. We heard from Paul how he followed the Lord even unto death. Or Peter himself also died for the faith. And the people we honor today, saints we honor today, St. Christopher Magallanes from uh, Mexico and 21 other priests, diocesan priests, and three lay people were tortured <clears throat> and killed because of their love for the Lord. We may not be put to that situation, but yes, every day the Lord asks us to recommit our love for him by just being willing to do a love, loving things or little things with great love, as St. Mother Teresa said. And how we, do we do that? But just for the children, being attentive and listen to, to mom and dad and to your teachers so that what you hear is always for your good. And for us adults, maybe the Lord is saying to us in a quiet way that opportunities are given to you and me. Graces are also provided to us so that we can do loving things by just being attentive to the needs of other people or even willing to forgive those who have in offended us without question may not be easy, but again, the grace is given to us so that we can love as the Lord loves. Please stand. With confidence in our loving God who cares for his sheep, we bring him our needs and prayers. For those who will be ordained this year, here in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, we have eight young men who will be ordained on June the 4th. May the Holy Spirit abundantly bless their ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For national leaders, may the goodness of God guide them in their policy making and decisions. We pray to the Lord. For the imprisoned, may God move the hearts of the guilty to repentance and console the wrongly convicted with strength and grace. We pray to the Lord. For all missionaries around the world, and especially for Christians, particularly Catholics in places in the world where they're being, being persecuted, that God will continue to strengthen them and give them the grace of his love. For them we pray to the Lord. For our community of faith, may God's grace at work in our lives allow us to bear fruit for the kingdom. And we especially pray for our young people, the, the youth who will be confirmed this Saturday, and for many of our young children who will be receiving the Eucharist for the first time this weekend as well. And for their families and for the rest of the community that we rejoice in seeing that excitement in their, in their hearts to receive the Lord for the first time and the Holy Spirit and the gifts given to them. For this we pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick, for those here present who are anticipating surgeries, and for those who are infected by coronavirus or are still in the hospitals or at home bedridden, and for those we remember this time that God will bring healing and strength to all of them, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially 
our loved ones. We remember this time for mothers whose name we offer on the altar who are now deceased. And for Rogia Gachalian. And especially those who have no one else to pray for them. May the angels welcome them to paradise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. And let us now pray for our own intentions in silence. And for the special intention of Erlinda Dacumos, who is celebrating her birthday today, and for all the mothers whose names we offer on the altar who are living. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we ask you to look kindly upon these petitions we offer in the name of your Son, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive it. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, St. Christopher and companions, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their, and, their and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Rogia, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Christopher Magallanes and co companion martyrs, with St. Peter Claver and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please sit down. For those joining us in the live streaming, let us now pray the act of spiritual communion and welcome anyone here who would like to say it with us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs St. Christopher and companion martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross. Graciously grant that, drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you once again for your loving presence, and thank you for those of you joining us in the live streaming Thanks to our volunteers, for those of you who, uh, who, who signed you in safely, and for those who will clean the church afterwards. And also, I'd like to thank once again the tech team for making it possible to live stream the Mass so we can bring the, Eucharist, the celebration to your homes. So uh, please remember our youth and two adults who will be confirmed yesterday, tomorrow, uh, 10 a.m., and also uh, around 70 young children uh, who will be receiving First Communion. Confessions tomorrow at from 3 to 4.30 in the afternoon out in the plaza. And Vigil Mass for Pentecost is at 5 o'clock and 7 p.m. in Spanish where the First Communion will be, be celebrated. And on Sunday, we have the 8, 10, and 12, where children will be receiving First Communion, and then the 5 p.m. in the afternoon. All those First Communion Masses will be live streamed. So again, for those of you who are not able to come to Mass to church yet, please join us in those celebrations. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.